Alright, so we got a garage here we're pouring. They really messed the subgrade up on this. You can see the top of our ISO strip is grade. We've got about 12 inches of concrete in the middle, about 10 to half 11 up front, about 6 or 7 in the back. There's also like a, an overhang. See where that plywood is in the back? That overhangs, for whatever reason, that overhangs the basement floor. You can see how they built. See how they got that braced up there? For whatever reason, they got the garage overhanging the basement just a little bit. No idea why. It's part of the design. We did the house floor here, I don't know, probably a month ago. Subgrade just really dips right here. Whoever graded that just didn't do a very good job. So we're having to pour a foot, foot of concrete in here where it really should only take. Plan only calls for five inches. Yeah, three inches. It was six inches. Well, I didn't know that's why I didn't go too crazy on the water at first. But, I mean, I don't know. Architect had six inches of leak. You want that a little wet up? Hey guys, so like I said, the plan called for a five inch floor. This is a 28 by 24 garage, so it, it figured about 10 and a half yards of concrete. So when I first ordered the concrete, I just told the guy, hey, you know, we only need one truck. We're going to come down here and pour this. This is about an hour and a half away from our shop. Um, so we get down here and start shooting the grades. And sure enough, I mean, the subgrade's way low. I don't know how the excavator messed that up so bad, like how he couldn't figure out where the dirt grade needed to be and then of course you got two inches of styrofoam you got the radiant heat you got the wire but somehow they got it so messed up that it ended up taking ended up getting 21 yards because we could only get two trucks on this day and we were hoping 21 was going to do it because in the middle you can see my grade pin in the middle its grade is about an inch down from the top of that metal pin I got a nail stuck through there at grade and Right now we got three inches of slope from the back to the front, whereas, uh, again, originally the architect, whoever designed this, this house and the plan and everything, put six inches of slope in this little garage. So that's crazy. You know, I, the day I came down to shoot grades here, the homeowner was actually here. He was walking around, and after I got done shooting my grades, I asked him, if he knew there was that much slope in the garage and he said yeah I, I do I don't really want that much I don't need that much it seems kind of excessive and you know I agreed with him a three inches slope and 28 feet is plenty so he he wanted me to raise the front up a little bit maybe even lower the back just a tiny bit if I could so we could we could get it down to a three inch slope versus a six inch slope so that's what we ended up doing and that's that's one of the reasons it ended up making the front just a little bit thicker because I had to raise that front up about two and a half inches, which allowed me to drop the back about a half inch, and then you know we, we cut the slope in half that way. And I know there's a bunch of you know you can see a bunch of pine needles and leaves and stuff in there. They were just all stuck under the wire and the radiant. And I didn't bring my leaf blower today. I didn't think I'd need it, but um, being this concrete's a foot thick. That, those few amount of leaves and pine needles, those aren't going to bother anything. That's just, we deal with that in Maine in the fall all the time. Uh, the wind blowing, the rain in the day before, we get a ton of leaves and stuff on the, on the floor. But um, we're going to get this poured. That rebar in the back was sticking up just a little higher than I liked. I, it was only about an inch from the surface, so I wanted to get it down another inch, making sure it wasn't too close to the top of the concrete. Right a little more, truck driver. Okay. A bit more, bud. Thank you. Yeah, get a little 
Good. I wouldn't have had a bad song if I'd been one of them other boys showed up with an eight. Nice song. Good. Yeah, that's what you've been why. Pound it down a little. Why, man? That's gotta be pounded down with a hammer. Careful, it don't splatter up your eye, why, man? I just shoot up on mine while I'm here. What? Here we go. Here, Bobby. Quick buck driver. Hey. What do you think, quick driver? Where am I bad? I've been all over. I get around more than the shit I was doing off at the country fair. I tell you back home. I just got my other booster the other day. Boy, didn't the wife get sick on that one. Whoa. You know, I had a booster the other day, too. It was called Captain Morgan's. Right there, if you want it unlocked. Hey, it's unlocked. You ready to proceed? Proceeding. You want it left unlocked? Hello? The still go on. You want to hop it up?
last day and I'm going to win $60 by you guys lunch. Thursday, Brian. Thursday. Watch your head there, big loop.
All right, so there's 10 and a half yards right there. We got another 10 and a half to do this. You can see how thick that is right there. That's really, that's a foot thick. Crazy thick. But what are you gonna do? They gotta get the floor done. They got the steel coming to do the building. So you're not pulling all that stuff out to regrade it. Just whatever. The guy doing the sub base just didn't read the print right, I guess. Couldn't get the elevation right. So it's gonna cost somebody an extra 10 and a half yards. But the job moves on.
So we ended up having enough concrete. The 21 yards was plenty. Might have had a half a yard left over. The screeding, you know, when it's 12 inches thick, kick screeding the way we do is actually a lot more difficult than when it's four to six inches thick. But we managed to get through it. The slope, the three inch slope held really good. It didn't sag at all. You know, we, the slump we poured was probably five and a half ish, maybe around a six. So, I mean, it wasn't too, too dry, but it wasn't too wet either. So it, hold, it held its slope pretty good. The concrete actually seems to be setting up on us pretty good. I mean, if you remember, it, I told you it was an hour and a half ride for these guys to get here. So, you know, that concrete was already an hour and a half old before it even got here. But all, it turned out being a good pour. We got it done. You know, it's just going to be a matter of the, the general contractor, the foundation contractor, and the homeowner trying to figure out who's going to pay for the extra 10 and a half yards. It really has nothing to do with us. You know, we were just hired as a sub on this to come in here and get the, the concrete floor poured and finished. Um, and that was our, our part of it. So we're going to get our part done today. Then everybody else will have to figure out theirs after. But... The reason that we had to raise this front up, you can see we put a board on top of the 2x12, is they had six inches pitch in this, and it was just way too much in 27 feet. Even the owner didn't want that, so we suggested, you know, bring the front up three inches, drop the back about a half inch, gives you about two and a half, two and three quarter inches pitch, which makes the garage a lot more normal, I guess, as far as slope goes. So anyway we got it 12 inches thick should dry it should cure up really fast so shouldn't have any any troubles power trial on this today thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one